In just a few days time, I'll be heading off and doing a festive 500 ride for uh, Cardiac Risk and the Young, a charity ride that I'm doing, aiming to do the whole of the festive 500 non-stop in a single day. Uh, I thought I'd, before doing, before going ahead of the ride, I thought I'd go over some of my bike, the choices that I'm going to be uh, taking both bike and kit for the for the ride and um, little things that I might have done to it to for this particular challenge. As of yesterday, the uh, Wales is now in a lockdown, so that this is going to change my route slightly. Instead of doing one big loop, I'm now going to do it's essentially a figure of eight twice, and I'll be passing somewhere where I can grab food and stuff from the house uh, ev on on every lap. So. Uh, it'll make, it means I just don't have to stop at any, any shop, uh, so it's all within the rules and things that we've got. Um, so starting with a bike, anyone who might be, uh, who might know their bikes, uh, this is actually a gravel bike. This is an Orbea Terra with a frame set. Um, started life with me as a gravel bike, although this now uh, I've been using as a winter road bike for the last couple of years. Uh, if I'm completely honest, it's not perfect as a winter road bike, but it is pretty good. Uh, there are some things I really do like about it. It has got full um, mud guards, although the back is, um, the way it works on the back is not ideal, but um, it does work. Uh, I've got on here then the mud guards I'm using, SKS Edge mud guards, which I really rate. They're, they're new this year, which I really like. The wheels are from just riding along, the Mahi Mahi uh, disc brake wheels in a 30 millimeter depth. And they are a custom wheel. Probably the key thing to note on the front is there's a SON or SON Deluxe Dynamo Hub. That is running a K light, which is a, an Australian brand Dynamo light. And then I have the switch on the handlebar to control the on and off for that. On the rear, it's a Bitex hub. That's been really reliable for me. I'm really happy with that. This bike has done thousands of kilometers and it's been really good, so no issues with that. The tires are Challenge Strada Bianchi, 700 by 30 millimeters. And these are tubeless set up. Within the tubeless system then, I run Hutchinson sealant. After another test I did recently, I found the Hutchinson sealant actually really good at repairing um, holds when they do develop so that's why I'm running the Hutchinson sealant find it really good other parts then so finishing kit we have got a uh, Ritchie WCS uh, carbon bars the stem is Calloy it's just something I got from uh, eBay come direct from the manufacturer and just take all the decals off it with a bit of um, strip the paint off it just makes it look a bit nicer seat post FSA SLK carbon and the saddle, probably my personal favorite of saddles, find it really comfortable for me, it's a Physique Antares. This one is, I think the R3. Looking onto the drivetrain then. So one of the parts that I've currently got on test for Road CC is the rotor in spider. The, the power meter is the only part that's actually on test. The cranks were I had before. And um, this should be a really good test to see how reliable they are actually. If they make it through the, this ride then then that's a really good sign the drivetrain is a compact double so 50 34 on the front and then on the back I've got an 11 28 that is a I think it's a 105 level cassette running di2 with a Altegra di2 front and um, rear derailers battery and everything then is all in inside the down tube the only thing that's a little bit different to a normal road di2 setup is I've got the charger and the display port on the front and it just means that I can see my gears, uh, see what gear I'm in and see the battery and things like that. Uh, for a winter road bike I, I quite like having that. The shifters are, uh, the, these are quite old DI2 shifters, Shimano R785s I believe they are called but they function absolutely fine, the braking is really good, quite easy to bleed which the new ones are, are not. Um, and performance wise it's they're, they're fantastic so no issues with those brakes disc brakes a shimano altegra and those are just running shimano's i think they're mountain bike rotors in terms of storage i have got a lifeline adventure top tube bag it's a decent size not too big 
I can. I did a big trip with this before uh, around Wales, and it it proved to be a good space. Within this, then I keep a battery which I can use to recharge the uh, Wahoo Bolt, which I use for navigation and for recording, and uh, also store my food in there. Uh, it's really cheap. It's really it's good quality, um, waterproof, apart from where the where the cable comes out, and um, it's been it's been really good. In terms of spares, I've got a saddlebag. Within that. Just basic things. I think I got two tubes: one, one normal tube, one um, polyurethane tube, a little toolkit, and enough to change a uh, swap a chain link if need be. Two bottle cages, two bottles, and then because of the distance that I'll be doing between each stop, I'll be able to fill up on water uh, regular intervals or just swap the bottles out. And then I also run a, as well as CO2 within here, I also run a. Uh, put a pump on the frame. For the rear light, I have got an exposure lights blaze. I think this is still the biggest um, one that they do. I'll run this on a setting that it can just last the whole time. So uh, it'll be yeah set up to run for 24 hours, I believe. I'll also run a second backup light, which is an exposure trace R on my helmet. And I've got two of those and I will put those on the most the, the brightest setting and I'll use the battery within here to recharge them uh, as I'm when I'm not needing to recharge the the bolt which should only need to be recharged once if if that uh, right okay so moving from the bike uh, I'm gonna talk about some of the the kit I'll be wearing and it's pretty much what I've got on now in terms of the jersey this is a sportful R&D light they don't make this anymore I've actually got two of them I got sent one uh, when I was working in a magazine previously and absolutely loved it and then bought one because I knew they were going to stop making it. Um, it's just, it's really warm. The forecast is looking as if it's going to be quite cold. So that's why I'm choosing this because it's got some insulation in it, but it actually, it's good from anything around 10, 12 degrees all the way down below freezing. Just fantastic. Really, really good quality. I love pretty much everything about it. You've got pockets on the back. You've got, um, and also you've got a small zip pocket on the side here, which I find really useful just for putting rubbish or little bits and pieces in. Yeah, it's also not black, uh, which I don't like to have. I don't like to be all in black. Uh, talking about all black, on the back of the mud guards, I just add a little bit of extra reflective sticker in and also got some on the, uh, put some, it's just some sticky back reflective tape just in a few extra places just to make myself more visible. So beneath the jacket, I've got a fairly basic Altura uh, base layer on today. Although depending on how cold the forecast is looking, I might put on a spats base layer that I've got on to, to test from Road CC. If it's looking as if it's gonna go below freezing or, or maybe even close to freezing, I'll probably be wearing that. It's, it's a really, it's very warm and it's got a, a, essentially a turtleneck. It's also got a nice thing where you can put the base layer over over your edge of your hand. Uh, it's, if it's above five degrees, it's probably too warm. So it'll depend on the temperature for that. Moving on to bib tights. These are, uh, if I can get the name right, ASOS LL Meal Bonker tights, which is a crazy name, uh, S7 model. They've, they're essentially the, the normal bib tights, but they're the coldest versions. They've got an extra panel just over the front of them. They're really warm and of all the chamois pads that you can have, the ASOS one is my favorite for doing the really long distance stuff. For gloves, I my favorite gloves are Gore, and these are, I think, Therma. Really nice and warm, uh, fit my hands really well. They're windstopper. If you get a bit of drizzle, they're also not too cold. And um, with the forecast going to be cold, these, these should be perfect. Also, I will carry, if I can get it out, this is a Gore shape dry jacket. This is just one of the originals. So it's um, quite small. It's a very slim fit jersey uh, jacket. Very, very waterproof. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's completely black and there's very little reflective parts on it. But in terms of a waterproof, it's just the best. Very, very breathable, very light. So it's, it's small enough that you can put it in your pocket as I will be. Uh, it'll just stay in my back pocket all the food or most of the food will be staying in the, the top tube. I'll have one pocket spare for keeping food in my back pocket. So between that and back pocket, and because I'm not having to go too far between stops, that should be enough. 
helmet, I'll probably be using this, which is a laser Z1. This um, is running an aero shell, and it's not for aero reasons, it's just because it keeps your head a lot warmer. It's, it's a bit like taping up all of the, uh, the air vents, and it means it, I'll stay a lot warmer. Uh, it's not my preferred helmet, be, simply because it doesn't fit my helmet quite as well as some of the other ones I have, but um, also it fits the helmet light nicely, and that's the, uh, the Tracer. So that's my spare, or the, the second light that I'll be using, and um, yeah, it's just, overall it's, it's probably the best setup that I've got in terms of helmets. In terms of footwear and shoes, so underneath these I've got Bont Riot, which are the cheaper Bont shoes, we like those. And then I've got these, which are Spats over shoes. They look crazy, but I think anyone who's got a pair of Spats will probably tell you how amazing they are. These are on test for Road CC currently, and I'm just being amazed by them. They're, they're for me, I'm, they're just a game changer. Really warm. They keep your feet much drier. The only time I've got my feet wet now is on absolutely torrential rain, but um, the, the warmth is the key thing, and they just keep your feet much warmer. And that's warmer than any other overshoe that I've got, and including some of the really thick ones, and also warmer than winter boots. I've uh, not been a fan of winter boots because water always seems to get in there and then they take about three days to dry out. Whereas these, you, they, they're they easy to dry, easy to clean and just, yeah, they're, they're brilliant. Look a bit crazy, but otherwise absolutely fantastic. Uh, hopefully, I think that's um, that's everything on this. So I mentioned I've updated the, the route. I'm going to try and get that. I'll get a link to the, the tracking page, which will um, you'll be able to follow live. Uh, I have a little tracking cube, which uh, comes from Open Tracking, which will be stuck onto the, probably on, onto the bike here. And it sends live updates. It's a similar one to we use for an event called Dragon Duathlon. Really good, really reliable. And um, yeah, you'll be able to follow me live online and see the distance and everything that I'll be doing and, and at what point I am. If things go well, I'll be done in just over 20 hours, I think but I'll just keep going. If I'm, if I'm longer, then yeah, it's fine. Uh, hopefully done in 24 hours, but you know, if I can do 20 kilometers an hour average, then that's 25 hours. So that's not the end of the world either. And then hopefully a few hours sleep and up for the kids in the morning, ready for when Santa comes. Thanks to everyone for their support so far. I've already surpassed the first target that I had uh, aimed to raise £750 already at £1,000, which is just fantastic. Really, really appreciate all of that. Um, if you follow me online, keep the donations coming in and uh, thank you. I mean, this is all for a fantastic cause. People will be able to follow me and cheer me on. If there's anyone who lives along the route, just give me a cheer and hopefully finish all right. And uh, yeah, all done before Christmas Day begins. So. Thank you.